Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about a personal thing that we do. Some of y'all may know that we do this, but every year we pack Christmas bags, great old big Christmas bags, for needy children. Last year we packed over 760 some of those. We normally pick, pack usually between 700 and 1,000 of those. We put toys, candy, apples, uh, crayons, coloring books, uh, about anything a little child would, you know, enjoy getting at Christmas. And some of these little kids would not have any Christmas if it wasn't for these bags. Well, I would like to ask you a great big favor today. I think there's a number on the screen. If you could pack a little toy in a little dinner bag, that's about the size we need. Not a large toy, but a small toy. And we pack for uh, children from three years to about 12 years and 13 years old. So if you'll get a, a girl toy and a boy toy and pack in a little bag and donate it to us for our little church, we would appreciate it so very much. And you can call the number on the screen and we'll either meet you and pick them up or you can bring them to us. We'll give you the address. And we'd like to have all those toys in by the end of the summer. That way we can go ahead and pack them in bags have them ready to just drop in the big bags. Because we pack a great big bag. It's got all kinds of goodies in it. And if you could do that, I think God would bless you so much. And that would surely bless a lot of little children at Christmas. Again, thanks for watching our show. And thank you for doing this for us. And we appreciate it so very much. Thank you and God bless. Hey everybody, welcome to our studio today. I'm so glad you could come by and join us. Today we got a very special project and I want to tell you a little bit about it before we get started. Uh, so let me just turn over here just a little bit. I want to get something. This is a sketch I done some time back. Now we have a little church building that uh, the front of it's got some panels on it and We've got it coated out gray right now, and we're going to, hopefully the weather permitting, it'll get a little cooler. We're going to paint this right on the front of the building up there. But let me show you what we've done with it in the meantime. I'm going to lay this back over. Now come over to the board. I want to show you something. Okay, this is a similar to the painting. Actually, it's a, a, a duplicate of the painting with Jesus sitting with a whole bunch of little children and some adults, as you can see, uh, coming in to talk to Jesus or get prayed for. But anyhow, see this section right here? My wife don't like me climbing. I may have told you the story about me falling off the skids up there. But anyhow, every time I get on a ladder, she wants to ha you know, hold on to me or the ladder. But anyhow, I drew this little sketch of Ruthie hanging on to me and me painting the scene that we'll be putting on the building. So this is a first for this one and hope you enjoy this. And I've already sketched it on here to save some time. Uh, but actually, we actually drew this right on the, uh, on, the, on the canvas. And I drew this on a piece of tracing paper first so I could move it back and forth to where I wanted it. Then I set it where I wanted it and I traced this area off of the tracing paper onto the canvas. Anyhow, let's get started. You want to, now, you can start anywhere you want to on a, a painting. I'm going to rinse that brush out just a little bit. I'm going to grab a little mixing spatula here. Now, first of all, we need flesh color. Now you can buy that in the tube if you want to, but normally we just mix ours up. And it takes, the color it takes is white. Let's put it right there. It takes a little yellow. It takes a little red. Now that's a real pretty 
pinkish flesh color, but I'm going to tone it just a little bit. I want it to be just a touch Yeah, about, about there, but I want it to be a little lighter in spots, too, so I'm going to add a little white along the edge of it. Now I'm going to add just a touch more. I'm actually going over and getting some Van Dyke Brown. So I use white, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, Van Dyke Brown. And as you can see now, we've got a, that's, that's a pretty good flesh color, really. Now right along the edge, I'm going to add just a touch of white. Now let's start out with our darker color. I'm going to wipe that off a little bit in case we use another color there. And I've got, if you notice today, I've got a whole bunch of small brushes. And that's because most of the, this is, will be a, a detail work. And also I've got my palette laying down so I can take my other hand and, and uh, actually guide my brush to where, when I'm putting the color down, I can lay it down just exactly where I want to. Now I'm just gonna color in the, the facial area And all the hand. Okay, let's do the other hand. Now, see the little uh, areas, the reason I'm using a small brush, I want to just get it exactly where I want it. Now, you can if you want to on the uh, a painting like this is outline the whole thing with black ink if you want to. This particular one, we're just going to paint it on there, I think. And I'm just just putting color on it, getting actually getting a base color on on the face. Now, if if I were going to do the other little faces, I'd go ahead and, and color them in too. But let's just see if we can get Ruthie uh, started here. Now I used to sit around a lot of times and draw, so I was thinking, you know, I, I would like to start the painting on the building, but the weather's been so hot lately that, uh, first of all, the metal would be so hot it would really be a little, little hard to do, but not just that, uh, some people has expressed that they want to come down and watch us paint it. And we couldn't have them sitting out in that hot sun for that long. Now that'll take a long time to do that. We may not be able to uh, film all of it. But Jim has so graciously agreed to come down and film it. Now, one thing I did, didn't mention to you, Normally, when you uh, draw something on here, especially with a number two pencil, well, when you put your color on, it usually <laughs> covers up your sketch, which is bad in a way. Or it'll wipe it right off, and it'll all get mixed in with your color. So what I've done, I'm going to run that up into the higher a little bit. After I sketched it, I sprayed it with clear so that when you rub it, see, you can't rub nothing off. Now, if I hadn't sprayed it, that would all get black and dirty in there. Okay, now, we started with the face. Let's get a little highlight color. 
Now some of the, most of the detail, or really high detail, probably will be in the face. Now this is a lighter color. We're just adding a little bit in there. And now that you won't be able to see the highlights too good just yet, but a little later on, as we add more and more, you will be able to see them. And you can take straight color and do this. But right now we're just using what we've got mixed up here. And we're just highlighting the right side of the face a little bit. Maybe the nose, if you can see that. Chin just a little bit. Highlight in the cheek. Now we will paint the eyeball in there. Uh, eyes appear to be white, but they're not really white. They're off color. I'm gonna mix a little, I, I'm gonna just touch this little eye right here a little bit. And the nose again. A little bit right there on the cheek, highlight there. Put a little bit of a highlight here. Can you see that highlight now? I hope you can on TV. Highlight a little bit under there, and it'll be darker under there too. So I'm gonna rinse that out. Now, in order to make your shadows, you have to have some of the base color, which is this color, and you need a little more Van Dyke Brown. I'm gonna put it right over here so we won't get too much in it. Now I'm gonna touch in the Alizarin Crimson just a little bit. Okay. That's way, way too dark. So we'll go back and pick up a little more of this. Come right along the edge here. Okay, now that's some of our shadow color. We'll grab that little brush back again. Dip it into that color. Okay, same way we want a shadow here. We want a shadow under his hand. Okay, I hope you can see those shadows. Okay, now that's a, just the start of the faces. That's not anywhere near finish. And I need a little shadow right in there. 
I'm going to sort of outline the nose just a little bit. Put a little bit under the eye, a little bit over the eye. I'm going to blend that a little bit. Okay, let me rinse that brush out. Now, let's start putting the, a little bit of color. I'm going to grab up another brush. Uh, we can make the clothes any color that you want to, so that's up to you. Probably I'll put blue jeans and a, uh, maybe a light blue shirt. So I'm going to grab a little white, go right back in front of my blue. Make a light blue shirt. That's about the color of shirt I got on. So. Let me grab a little more white. Okay. That's about the right color. Now I'm going to pick up a little of that color. Make that collar go around his neck and around. There you go. This is a really fun painting because it, it means so much uh, to be able to occasionally draw something for you and paint it. And w something with a little more detail in it than we normally do. And I really hope you enjoy it. By the way, before I started, I, I put a little linseed oil just on the you know, characters here. You can put it all over the canvas. It won't hurt nothing, but I just wanted it on the people so I could get uh, the color to move around. Now, what we want to do is make it a little darker. So I'll grab a little of it and go right over here somewhere. Wow, that's way too dark. But you know, we could work that out. I'm going to put a little on the edge there. Let's grab a little of that and see how close that'll be. Okay, I'm going to get just a touch of that dark. See, and that's, that separates the arm, makes the arm look like it's almost coming out. From the canvas. It's not, but it looks like it. 
Now what I'm doing now, I pulled a dark line around the edge. I'm just actually pulling some shadows into the shirt. Now I'm going to shadow the sleeve, but I want to leave a little lightness. right here. So I'll take my shadow here and start it inside a little bit. You see what I mean? And that's, that leaves that highlight there. All right, now that's Looking pretty good. And we'll want a few shadows in there, so I'll, I'll just put a couple in there if you notice. Okay, we need to do this little arm over here. And I put a few shadows in there. I hope you can see those okay. Okay, we're going to let that be there for a little while. And I'm just running up here putting a little blue in the hair. Oh, one other thing I want to do. Let me rinse this brush out. Something that you probably know, but let me... Normally... If you're painting a portrait or just painting a, a person, sometimes our ears are just a little redder than the rest of our face. I'm not sure that... And I want a little redness in the cheek. Same thing down here. I want to blend that a little bit. All right, now. Let's mix up some color. Uh, the, the breeches, you could make them black if you want to. I think what we'll do is make them... Uh, let's grab a little of that color, a little of this color. A little more black. Actually, it's not black, it's Payne's gray, but it's the closest thing you can get to black. Okay, that's probably a pretty good blue jean color. Not sure that it's dark enough. Let me make it a little bit darker. We well, say we put a little brown in it. Now 
Okay, let's see if, if that's about dark enough. The main thing we want is contrast. We don't want it to be exactly the, the same color as everything else. He's got a pocket though, hasn't he? I'm going to try to go around that hand. Like so. That's about what we want. Want a little darker right over in this area. Again, now when you're making shadows and you got something behind it that you want to separate or make a little bit darker, you can put a highlight on the edge of the dark part, like, like we did here, for instance. Now I'm trying to sort of get around that arm without making it look like I, I went over the top of it. What I probably will do is come back and go over the arm again. Does that look like old faded blue jeans? I hope so. Now I'll probably put a little light right in the middle of that. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah. So like that. I want a little shadow in there. I want a uh, A little one right there too. Sort of like that, just to give an impression of a wrinkle. All right, now that's, that's pretty close to what we want. Uh, probably what we can do is come back later on and outline the, actually there's a little pocket there. Let me show you, see if I can get a little dark black here. Paint's gray, it's not black. Okay. See his pocket's open. Okay, looks like now that Ruthie's hanging on to me. Okay, now, whoops, I'm going to run out of time here in a second. Now probably what we will do we got a minute or so left. Let's, uh, the latter is an important part of this thing, so I'll need to make it stand out pretty good. And I need to, of course, work a little more on the face up here and the higher 
Ruthie's face, and I need to put her something on real pretty. So I think I've got time to mix up a little color for that. So I'm going to take a little white, put right there. Maybe not quite that much. I'm going to take a little red. Okay, while we got a minute, grab my brush real quick. Watch this. One of Ruthie's favorite colors. It's pink. So we'll get a little color on it before we have to leave you today. Now I'm not trying to totally cover my sketch line. If it was a portrait, I, I definitely would. I'd, I'd make sure that you didn't see any of the lines anywhere. But this is a different type of a painting. It's, it's a I guess you'd say not a realistic portrait. Okay, what do you think of that? Quickly. Quickly. Okay, we're going to have to leave you for today. I hate to go. I'm enjoying it so much. But you know what? Come back next week and be with us again. And we'll work a little more on our painting. Hope you're enjoying this series. Goodbye and God bless. Hello, everyone. Welcome again to our studio. Lord, we're so glad you joined us today. We're working on a special little painting here. It's one that actually we're going to paint the, the Jesus picture with all our little children on our little church building. But we thought bef before we do that, we'll go ahead and make a painting down here in the studio of it. Now, Ruthie, every time I get on a ladder, she wants to hang on to the ladder. So what I, what I did, I drew me painting the scene, as you can see, and Ruthie hanging on to me to protect me, keep me from falling. And we appreciate her doing that so much. But anyhow, come over to the canvas now. And we're going to work a little bit more on Actually, when we left you, I think we was working a little bit on Ruthie's little pink blouse. So we'll work a little more on it. And we'll put some highlights in there. I'm going to grab a little more of that white. I'm just going to blend that a little bit. And I'm going to leave it that way. I didn't mean to go out over the edge. Let me grab a little. Yeah, that's better. Let me rinse that out a little bit. I think I'm getting too.
too much of the wrong color in there. Okay. Okay, that's a start. Probably I'll make this sort of a pinkish red, maybe. pink edge around it. How's that? Grab a little white and put it over here. Okay, I like that. Now, of course, a lot of detail yet to put in. And I'm not trying to get a lot of detail in it right at this point. I want to get everything on there. So, we'll know where everything is scheduled to be. And at, at some point we'll probably use a little bit smaller brush also. Now I want to rinse that out a little bit. This uh, painting is interesting because it gives us a chance to do some people. And, and normally we might put someone in there, but this is sort of personal because actually Ruthie does. She Every time I get on the ladder, she tries to <laughs> make sure that she's there to hang on to me or something. Now, the, her paints, we can make them blue jean too if we want to. If we do that though, we probably would make them lighter. I'm not, I'm not sure about that color though. Let's 